apologies for my voice in advance. I'm getting sick after getting over being sick. It, it's been a shitty week, basically. That that sums it up about as appropriately as I can do it. Um, I don't know when the review will be out for that reason, uh, for sickness reasons, also because of uh, it is now the holiday season. Like, today was Black Friday, and if you don't know what that is, well, congratulations. I don't know where you live, but can I come live with you, please? No, but seriously, it's, it's really busy here, uh, and, you know, I work in retail, so I don't know when the review will be out, which is why we're doing this today. Um, this is going to be a video focused about something that Carrot dropped in the last uh, chapter, and that's not only just because of what she said, it's also because I get to talk about Carrot, and she's so kawaii. I love her just so much! Despite Tekking's extreme enthusiasm about the subject involved Involving Carrot, he is not a furry. I mean, does being attracted to an animated bunny lady make you a furry? Of course not. You're insane. Also, the fact that he's taking the time to add this disclaimer makes it even more obvious, you say? No, it doesn't. <laughs> why did I just say that? And why did I choose to type it as nervous laughter? I don't know. I'm not into furries, okay? Yeah! Okay, so Carrot dropped uh, just a little bit of a, a side thing. It wasn't like that big of a deal. Uh, it wasn't like she revealed like, oh, by the way, I have this super secret technique that can kill Katakuri. And you're like, what? No, it's just that she drops this thing to Chopper uh, when they're on the Thousand Sunny and they're, you know, they're, they're sailing along in Big Mom's territory. And she says to Chopper, she says, hey, it's a full moon tonight, isn't it? And that's all. And then you, you, you choppers in the background like, what? Maybe? I, I don't know. What does that have to do with anything? But but Oda, you know, he draws it like it's significant. Like, oh, no, this is going to be a big deal. Um, so I think we all know that it is going to be a big deal. It's like, oh, yeah, no, it's not a full moon tonight. It's just a crescent. Oh, okay, not a big deal. All right, moving on with the rest of the arc, not even referencing that again. Um, so we're going to try to figure out what that meant. And I have a few theories, so let's just go into it. The first thing, and before we get into the juicy stuff, before we get into all the, the really cool theories, let's just look at it like from a perspective of, um, you know, she might mean that, oh, the moon's going to be full tonight, meaning that she has a plan or something. Because that could involve something like, you know, the, the moon's going to be full tonight, so therefore there's more light, therefore you might be able to do something, be sneaky. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I'm not a fan of that because that seems kind of boring, but hey, that would mean like carrot is sort of like a ninja bunny i i don't know um but i'm just saying like oh hey there's gonna be a full moon tonight so there's gonna be more light so maybe what we could do is this and this once we get to cacao island or be able to like sneak around i, I don't know i'm just i, I want to cover my all my bases here so i'm gonna throw that in there first but now getting into the more important stuff, the things that really are, you know, people are losing their minds over and coming up with all the crazy theories, that's that's always a lot of fun, is that because Carrot is a mink, her biology is a little different, uh, she's a little bit more, you know, she tends to more animalistic things, like how she's a bunny, so she'll, like, chew on, like, Luffy's ear, like, you know, like a rabbit, or whenever someone takes her carrot, she gets driven to, like, a crazy rage when someone pats her head, she's like, ah, oh, that's nice, you know, that she's driven to more, like, animalistic qualities, so, therefore, when there's a full moon, that brings out a little bit more of her primal nature. That, that would initiate some sort of transformation. <laughs> Does that mean that Carrot is a magical transforming electric bunny? I like to think yes. I like to think the answer to that is yes. Now, whether or not that's a transformation uh, psychologically or physically is up for debate. Uh, because you could have this both ways. You could have it like it's a psychological change um, where whenever she sees the full moon, um, you know, she thinks much more like a berserker, much more wild. Like, let's, like, her claws pop out and her whole body goes electrical and she's like, let's do this! You know, like, freaking, like, Killua from Hunter x Hunter, how his, like, his uh, speed of lightning, he could cover his entire body with electricity. Like, Carrot does that. Her fur starts standing up and she just goes crazy and ham wild on people with very little inhibition. Um, that's one possibility. And the other possibility is more of like a were-rabbit kind of thing, where seeing the moon will physically change her body, like, gross huge muscles, like, Ugh! and then and then she proceeds with the berserker. So I guess these both lay back to the berserker idea. That That's one way of looking at it. Um, either berserker in terms of just uh, uh, psychological or, you know, physical change as well, like a were-rabbit. Now... The problem with this is that, remember, Carrot came from an entire race of people, minks, on Zoe, that would all have this same tendency, am I right? Like, um, 
the thing with Zo is that half of the animals on Zo that are in Inurashi's group, uh, they go to bed at like 6 p.m. because of, you know, Nekamamushi. That, you know, Nekamamushi is the one that reigns from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. So half of the group would never have really experienced the full moon in its fullest extent. Um, Nekamamushi's group would have, of course. Now, Carrot's a little bit of an exception because she's a ruler's hand or like a ruler's aide. So she's, you know, she can be you know, both, like, like Wanda, you know, the daytime and nighttime is fine. So Carrot has definitely seen the full moon before. So when she's referring to this with Chopper, she's like, there's a full moon tonight. She knows full well what's going to happen if she is in fact referring to that the reason i'm saying that's a problem with the berserker thing is if on zo every time a full moon comes out wouldn't the whole country just be wrecked you know if that was the case um like holy shit there's a full moon everybody goes crazy berserker or everyone goes through some sort of transformation and wrecks their homeland um you know and and and, and jack was rampaging on that island for like what was that like like, like, several days. Like, was it over a week or something? So maybe there wasn't a full moon then. Who knows? Um, but then again, keep in mind, there's a lot of stuff about Zoe we just do not know about. We don't understand all of the culture there from Zoe. So Oda could, like, lay out a thing for us. Like, you know, once a month on the country of Zoe, all of the doors lock. All of the residents seem to vanish from the streets. And then they go to, like, some secret location to make sure that they don't hurt each other. They don't hurt their their homeland. Maybe something like that. Um, also, it's entirely possible the whole berserker aspect of it might exist. But if it's something that they've been dealing with their whole life, they might be able to control it. Like, that might be something that a mink might learn. Like, when they're a kid, you gotta watch out. But... As they grow, they learn to master this power and control the, the primal urges, you know, something along those lines. So that, that's another possibility, too. Like, Carrot might get an energy boost or whatever. It might physically change, psychologically change. Um, and it might not be, a, she might not be as uh, calm and composed as she normally is. But she might be able to handle it a little better, considering she's been doing this, you know, her whole life. If this is something that goes down, um, and all minks have to deal with this then it would be something that she would deal with like 12 months out of the year, at least, you know, once a month. You know, that's usually how a full moon goes. We can assume that's how it works in One Piece. So, uh, yeah, th those are the basic ones. Number one, it doesn't have anything to do with her specifically. It's just her coming up with an idea for getting to Cacao Island, just like a plan involving the full moon. The second thing is it's a psychological or a physical change uh, resulting in her being a berserker. And the third one is it results in a change, but not necessarily a full-on berserker that she can still control it a little bit. Um, I would like to see a physical change. Because that would be cool. It is manga after all. Uh, whether it be like the giant hulking, like, you know, like, like she hulk rabbit electric bunny. Or, because this is Oda. I mean, like, we all know, like, I'm a typical female character. Ooh, I'm going through a transformation. You know what that means. I'm gonna get even sexier than I already am. And I'm like, you, you gotta be careful, Oda. You gotta be careful with the sexy factor on, on Carrot. Um, because if you jack that up any higher, I mean, the furries are going to literally pass out. And you're gonna lose, like, a good 7% of your audience. So you gotta be careful. But I'm just saying, like, it could happen. Uh, it totally could. You can't just, you can't just throw it out. Um, okay? Um... But that, that would be neat. You know, even if it's not like a major physical change, even if it's like the thing I was talking about where it's just like, you know, her claws, you know, pop out and she gets kind of like that maniacal grin she had in that one episode, like, <laughs> and then her fur gets all like staticky and electricity, kind of like, like I said, Killua's speed of lightning, her whole body gets code electricity, and then she can like zip around like a fucking Denshi bunny. Does anybody get that reference? Shaolin Showdown, old school cartoon back in the day. <coughs> my god, my voice sounds like I put it through a freaking, freaking l a lumber mill. Like one of those things that, you know, cuts logs in half. Like, oh god, my voice sounds horrible right now. I apologize. But I gotta do it. I gotta talk about Carrot's awesome, sexy bunny moves. Um, but I think I pretty much covered everything I, I wanted to cover. My thoughts on the, the, the full moon mink theory. So let me know what you guys think. If it's something, you know, is particularly suited to Carrot. And I would also like to you know... 
you know, if this is something that's going to happen to Carrot, you know, how would this work with the country of Zo and all of the the people, or at least the people in Nekumamushi's kingdom having to deal with this? Because if it's like some transformation they deal with every single month, then there's a reason why their country's still standing. They can't just turn into a bunch of crazy hulks every month and smash everything. Uh, there, there might have something to do with it. But um, those are the ones I think are most likely to occur and the ones that I would prefer. So anyway, I, I hope to hear what you guys think below and how this is going to go down and uh, probably going to get some uh, badass carrot in the final battle. So I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, keep an eye out for the review. Don't know when that'll be out. Uh, but yeah, everyone have a great night. Techie101 signing out.